this day, we thank you that we find ourselves in your presence, that there are no walls, there are no obstacles for us to overcome this morning for us to get into your presence, but we come right in, we go through the blood of the Lamb, we thank you, God, that you have tenderized our hearts, you have softened our hearts, Lord God, where it's so easy to hear your voice, it's so easy to feel your presence, and we thank you, God, that you have made this place a sanctuary where you dwell you meet us here, Lord. We pray, God, that you would be encountering us, Lord God, today, face to face, that you would be speaking clearly to us what's on your heart, and that we'll be ready to listen, we'd be ready to obey, we'd be ready, Lord God, to respond in faith.
Don't. 
just come before you this morning wanting nothing but to encounter the living God and we thank you for your presence we thank you that you have invited us into your presence God and this is a safe place where we can just gaze upon your beauty and be comforted by your spirit and in this place Lord you are building us up building our confidence in you and father we just come before you just as we are knowing lord that we are completely accepted and known by the father in heaven so lord, we lift up this morning to you we ask that you meet with us speak to us god now we're going to uh, go into a time of med meditating on the word of god um I want to encourage all of us to refrain from opening up our Bibles or to journal or write things down or even to pray, but simply hearing the Word of God spoken over us, let it saturate you, um, let it speak to you. The verse that we will be meditating on today is coming, uh, it comes from Isaiah 64 verse 4. From of old, no one has heard or perceived by the ear. No eye has seen a God besides you, who acts for those who wait for him. of old no one has heard no one has heard or perceived by the ear no eye has seen a God besides you a God who acts for those who wait for him you who acts for those who wait for him you, a God who acts for those who wait for him. No eye has 
has seen a God besides you who acts for those who wait for him. besides you who acts for those who wait for him God besides you, a God who acts for those who wait for him. Besides you, Lord, who acts for those who wait for him. God besides you, a God who acts for those who wait for him.
with you, please open it up to Isaiah 64. Isaiah 64. We'll be reading from verse 1 to 4. Isaiah 64, verse 1. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains might quake at your presence. Father, we thank you for your presence that's here with us right now. Even when we can't tangibly feel it, we know it's real and it's here. Holy Spirit, we ask that you rip open all that's clouding our minds and blurring our spiritual vision from seeing Jesus and perceiving Him rightly. We lay down all that's clogging up and cluttering the way You've made for us and ask for Your presence to come and shake us up. God, rip open the clouds of fear, doubt, and unbelief over us and come down here. Layer by layer, rip them open so we can see You, feel You, and touch You. We desire a deeper encounter with you today. Come and meet with us. Shake off everything that can be shaken. Come meet with us. Come, Lord.
from your presence. brushwood and the fire causes water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries and that the nations might tremble at your presence Lord you are an all-consuming fire unquenchable and ever ceasing at the sound of your voice all of heaven shake and the earth trembles but how we experience this truth can be so limiting sometimes. We see so much stagnancy and complacency in our lives, God, and many rebel against you. We also see so much disorder and chaos in the nations. So Father, we confess to you that we need you. We need you to be the fire in our hearts. We need you to be the staff and the rod in our lives. We need you to be the voice that speaks order and justice in the nations. We need you, Father. So come down, rend the heavens, and come down. Be the fire, be the staff, and the rod. Be the voice that speaks order. Be the justice in the nations. Father, come and have your way. So open up your mouth and speak for
God.
Give us the grace to turn our eyes away from fleshly desires and instead to turn them to you, Jesus. You are who we want. You are who we need. You are good. You are the one we've been looking for. Holy Spirit, ready us today.
Isaiah 64 verse 4 from of old no one has heard or perceived by the ear no eye has seen a God besides you who acts for those who wait for him father from the ancient days until this day there is no one else like you your goodness and faithfulness follow your people all the days of their lives you are with them in the blessing and in the testing you are with them in the waiting and ever so present in the times of trials God you are faithful truly no eye has seen no ear has heard of a God like you you are unchanging you are the same yesterday today and forever you are not faced by what comes at you for the enemy has been defeated and put under your feet you stand strong and victorious and you continue to do so to this day God help us to stand strong and victorious in the times of testing and trials in the times of waiting for you have acted on behalf of us by crushing the enemy we want to be people who are unshakable immovable like you always standing firm in faith rejoicing in the goodness and faithfulness of your son jesus come establish us firmly as your people come establish us lord in every season of waiting i hear you say just trust in me
sick heart, Lord. As we wait for you, Lord. As I wait for you, give me a love sick Give us lovesick heart, a heart that yearns for more of you, a heart that is desperate to know more of its lover. So Lord, as we uh, wait upon you, we thank you for the hope and faith that you fill us with each day and the grace that you pour out upon us, Lord, to stand in this place of waiting firmly established unshakable God we thank you that you make us your people people who belong to you people who are not left out people who wade in the fullness of hope that comes only through you Jesus Father we thank you for the hope that you place inside of us today we love you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. There's a light drawn. Justice, there's a child. 
session, Lord, we, we hold on to what we just sang, God, that truly there's nothing impossible for you. You can do anything. And the words that you've spoken forth, God, they don't enter to you empty, God. You are faithful to do what you said you would do. You are faithful to be what you said you would be, God. So we trust in who you are right now as we enter into a time of intercession for North Korea. I just want to share briefly what was announced um, uh, according to a source about three, three, uh, 33 uh, Christians uh, were captured they were caught um, contacting um, a South Korean missionary and they were supposed to be executed just this past Sunday um, and I think that there is really something that God is doing and moving upon North Korea in an accelerated manner and the enemy's opposition is growing stronger as well so i want us to gear up um, as we pray for north korea right now uh, i'm going to um, lead us in a few topics and i'm going to pray and after i pray uh, you can join in your own intercession father we lift up our brothers and sisters in north korea this morning in Jesus' name, we ask that you send chariots of fire, legions of angel armies to surround them and protect them, God. We decree and declare that all schemes of the enemy shall fall and be crushed in Jesus' name. Lord, we claim Isaiah 54, 17 over the church right now. Truly, no weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. Lord, blind the eyes of the enemy so that your people can spread the gospel freely in North Korea. We pray protection over the underground churches that wherever they gather will be invisible to the enemy. 
we pray for an exponential growth a spur of explosive expansion of underground churches in North Korea Lord we build impenetrable walls of fire for your church so that all arrows of the enemy are broken and burnt away you are God who protects your people you don't look away but you act so Lord we trust in you let's pray intercession over every prayer meeting so that your people will pray precise prayers marked with prophetic unction and pr uh, prayers that carry your heartbeat let the watchmen arise and be ready for the day you bring the two Koreas together 
cause our hearts to respond to this call. Cause your people to get up and pray. Cause our hearts to be stirred with urgency. Time is near. Let us watch and pray, Lord. Watch and pray.
positions of authority in Korea and in other nations. Move upon their hearts to overcome every fear and take every necessary action that is put on hold in fear of angering North Korea. Give them a greater understanding and wisdom to steward their authority in bringing order to the peninsula. We recognize that you are already on the move and causing the international community to pay more attention to Korea. But Lord, we ask for more. We ask for proactive support from the global leaders and partnerships to be built to see reunification to take place together. We pray that all divine and timely meetings, phone calls, and conferences take place without any delay. We also lift up President Park Geun-hye. Lord, you've chosen her to be the head over this nation at such time as this. And we pray for your heart for this nation to be imparted to her. Release heavenly wisdom and eyesight like the eagle over her that she may see things with greater precision and insight that no one can look down upon. Above all else, stir up every heart to desire reunification to take place with urgency. When you cause their hearts to move, things will shift in the natural. So we pray for shifting of their hearts in the spirit right now. Move upon their hearts, God. Cause their hearts to respond to your call. Let's pray.
declare all prison camps being invaded with the light of Christ. Declare all soldiers taking off their uniforms and putting on the garment of praise and joy. And declare all the orphans twirling around and rejoicing in the light. So prophesy joy, peace, and love to overflow the nation. And prophesy the light of Christ to invade. So Lord, we ask at this time, let heaven come down. Let heaven come down to North Korea. Jesus, bring heaven to North Korea. Let's pray and prophesy.
are faithful to finish what you have started in this nation. God, this nation is one in your eyes. God, help us to perceive it the right way, God. And Lord, we thank you that truly the light of Christ is spreading like wildfire in North Korea. God, darkness is fleeing away. God, we know that what we see in the spirit is true in Christ Jesus. God, we we ask God that you would take away all hopelessness and all despair and all unbelief in our hearts, God, that as your people that we would stand firmly in faith, Lord, knowing that this is your will for this nation, that it's not going to change no matter how much we lack in prayer, God. It's not going to change no matter how hard the enemy tries to come against you, God. This will be done, God. And though we trust in your goodness and your faithfulness for your people, and though we ask, God, that you would continue to stir our hearts to respond in urgency, God, that this is a matter of urgency in your heart. And we trust in the timing that you're going to bring reunification to this nation. For you are perfect, God. You know what you are doing. So we trust in you, Father. We pray all these things in your precious Son's name, Jesus. Amen. Now we're going to uh, go into a time of free prayer. So if um, everyone except the keyboardist uh, can get into groups of two or three and pray for one another. Please share your prayer topics and pray for each other for the next 10 minutes or so.
you so much for your faithfulness to us. We really haven't done very much, Lord God, to deserve the kind of faithfulness, the perseverance that you have for us, Lord. Lord, even today, Lord God, before any obstacle, before any prayer request, before any testing um, that we are facing, we declare, Lord, that you can do anything, Lord. We come before you with trust and surrender, knowing, God, that you are God who moves on behalf of those who trust him. And whether we see anything in the natural or not, Lord God, in the spirit, we thank you, God, that the victory and the battle has been won, and that, Lord, you are the one who rules over all. You are sovereign in your will, your purposes will stand. for joining us this morning. Um, thank you also for uh, joining us for in praying for North Korea. There's a lot of things that are happening right now, so keep your eye out for the things that are happening and coming up on the news. And if you want to continue to pray for uh, North Korea, we actually have a joint prayer meeting this weekend. So this Saturday at 7, 7 p.m. Um, in our Itaewon campus, we have a joint prayer meeting. So come out and continue to pray. Ha, <laughs> ha,